Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we're going to be actually going over the installation of Portainer, um, which also includes installing Docker and we're starting with a CentOS 7 system. Um, so first we're going to run a uh, yum update uh, so that we can get all of the updates onto the system. Uh, after that we will go through the installation of Docker. Um, after that we'll go over the installation of Portainer and then I'm also going to be installing what's called Cockpit. It gives you a little bit of information as well and uh, it's kind of a GUI to the uh, containers as well um, gives you a little bit of more information that's kind of built into the actual os itself uh, so we'll go over those three things um, so first off let's uh, log into the system through ssh so we're on the system right now and we are going to run the yum update once we verify that the system has been updated uh, what we want to do now is actually change the host name once we have the host name change we're going to reboot the system to make sure that all the updates and the host name is taken effect so we're just going to send a reboot command and restart the session as you can see the name has been changed um, so now we are actually going to install uh, docker itself this is just downloading the uh, docker get docker uh, shell script um, and now we're going to actually run the uh, docker install It does have some information here that you can uh, do for a rootless uh, setup tool. Um, also, we can run the uh, Docker Dame as a fully privileged service. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually add the uh, root user into the Docker group. Now we're going to start Docker. Going to enable Docker so that after a reboot, it will start automatically. From here, we can actually run some Docker commands. We're going to run Docker PS to see if anything's installed. Nothing's there. So I just did a Docker image list. Um, therefore, you can see if there's any images. There's nothing. So this is a, a clean system. I'm going to clear the screen. Next, what I'd like to do is actually install the uh, cockpit. It's part of the CentOS and Red Hat and uh, all those uh, versions there. So it's a cockpit and cockpit Docker. All this does is gives you kind of a, a server GUI, if you will, uh, access to your system, what it looks like uh, with a GUI interface. From there, you can actually see your containers as well. Uh, now we need to enable it. And then we need to go to the system uh, with the uh, port 9090. Here you're gonna log in with your root and your password. And as you can see, we've got <clears throat> the name of our server. You get your system, logs, networking, and here you got containers. And right now we have no containers, so nothing's there. I just wanted to show you that there's multiple ways of doing this. Uh, we are going to be actually using Portainer, but we'll be switching kind of back and forth so I can show you the difference between the two. Um, so here what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, now install uh, Portainer. Okay, I showed you what cockpit looks like. Now we're actually going to install Portainer. Uh, first, we need to do a uh, Docker volume create uh, Portainer data. So now we have that volume and now what we need to do is actually run the docker command to run portainer so we've got docker run dash d for detach dash p for port it's going to be 9000 on the host and it's going to be 9000 on the uh, application interface or the network that you can think that it creates behind the scenes name's going to be portainer Restart always, so it'll restart after reboot all our stuff. Our volume is uh, going to be uh, Docker sock. We've got Portainer data that we just created, and then our image. So we will hit enter for that. It does not have the image locally, so it will actually download this image. Okay, uh, Portainer is now installed and running. Uh, we need to now go to port 9000. We're going to go to the IP address and the port 9000. Uh, it's going to want a password and a confirm password. So here we'll put in our, our password that we want for this. So now we have our user. What we need to do here is we actually need to go to uh, environments and environments we've got our local we are going to make this 
our IP address of our server. Just makes things easier once you start setting up uh, other things. So we're going to update environment. Uh, from here, we can see that we got teams and roles, environment, we got registries, we've got our logs, our settings. We're running Portainer 2.11, which is the latest uh, version of this. Uh, we'll go back to the home, and here we can actually see that here's our local, and we've got one container running. And guess what container that is? That is going to be our portainer. So we can see that the portainer is there and it's working and everything looks good there. Um, so that's uh, real good information there. And if we go back, um, we can actually go to the cockpit. When we're logged in here, we can actually go to containers and we can see that here's portainer here as well. So we've actually got, you know, kind of two different places we can look at this. Um, but we're going to be doing portainer more. I just wanted to show you that there is this option as well. Um, so in here we got our, in here we've got our container. Uh, we've got logs, which is good information. Um, from there, you can actually go back and, uh, see all the different things that you have. You've got inspect, so you can see where the information is. You can see your stats. So very similar, you can see your CPU utilization on these. Um, and we can go to the console, which actually attaches us. So there's a lot of information in there. We can go in here to settings as well. Uh, my account, and we can do dark theme, update theme, and then we've got now dark theme. Okay, that's the basics of setting up uh, Portainer. I know this is a quick, fast video, but I just wanted to get this out. Uh, we'll continue on and add more to this. Uh, this is more of the information that I hope you guys like. If there's something you'd like me to cover, please uh, let me know. Again, my name is Matthew Bingham with MB Tech. Thank you, and talk to you soon.